The authorities around here, they don't care about nothing. They mean no harm. It's just this place would slowly suck the life out of you. I can't seem to find my copy anywhere. It's not my bag, it's not on the desk. Anyone see Claire's copy? Anyone? No, nobody. Those who want answers, sooner or later, they turn up at my door. Did you see my copy anywhere? Tell me more about this copy. It's like a copy that you write in. Got your name on it? Not sure, I don't know. There's no name on copy. Who was knocking around the girl's desk this morning? None of the usual canaries were singing. But I knew someone from the darker side of town who might give me a name. Johnny, he sits beside her at the same desk. Or didn't you notice? But all he ever does is look in that stupid mirror. Hmm, Johnny, you say? Johnny Mo of McGorty. He was one of the good guys, once. Would ask go to the can only when he needed to go. Now he asks even when he ain't got the urge. He says it helps ease the pain. So I asked Johnny round. Tell me about the mirror, Johnny. They say it's just a mirror that the school dentist gave us. Don't have the wise guy me, Johnny. You were casing the joint out. Casing the? I was just checking me molars. See anything unusual after you finished admiring yourself? Not unless you count Mary half killing herself. Hmm, Mary, you say Mary the new girl Clark. Moved here last September. All neat and tidy. Law abiding. But when she learnt the lay of the land, she started on that slippery slope. So we have a chat. A cop with no name on it. Mean anything to you? A copy? What? Tell me about your movements today. Yeah, well you should know all about my movements because you're the one who caused them, remember? When I went and put my pencil on the bench and I tripped over your stupid bag on my way down. See anything strange around that little trip? How about everyone laughing at me? Well, everyone except for Jack. Hmm, Jack you say, the quiet Jack McGovern. He don't get rattled by nobody or nothing. Even when we had to get all shined up for that big well, shot spectrum. Line two will have seven syllables and line three will have five syllables. And things were getting kind of tense. Read your haiku. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables? Jack calmed the whole situation down. Snow falling slowly, falling down very slowly, falling on the fields. And from then on, Everything went real smooth. The ice queen has come. Her chilling gaze scours the land. Bitter blizzards blow. Sometimes the pieces of the puzzle just ain't coming together. It's just a mirror that the school dentist gave us. I tripped over your stupid bag. Stupid bag. Then, out of nowhere, you remember one small detail that blows the case wide open. A shadowy cartel was operating under our very noses. Specialists in surveillance, communications, misdirection, larceny, and shipment. All orchestrated by the underworld grandmaster, Quiet Jack McGovern. On the outside, all calm. Inside, the praise a girl got for her poem made him burn with bitter jealousy. A poem written in, a copy with no name on it. Haiku Envy. It can push someone over the edge. I still can't find my copy. <gasps> can you all please check your bags in case someone accidentally put Claire's copy in their bag? I know what happened to the copy. Just check your bags. <laughs> found her coffee in her brother's bag. He must have put it in at home by accident. Start digging too deep round here and you get set up and dragged down. I had a feeling things would turn nasty for someone today. Turns out that someone was me.